Hello and welcome back. Today's video is a quick run through of the Databricks account console. Now we have already done our Databricks workspace setup on Azure in our last video. If you have not seen that video, I would recommend you to go back and watch that video first. In today's video, we are going to look into all of the features and the settings that are available in account console. So without any delay, let's begin. Now this video is a quick walkthrough of the account console for Databricks. So in our previous video, we created a workspace for Azure Databricks, right? And we can see that workspace tied to our account console. Now you can manage this workspace from here. So you can just click on workspace and you can see a lot of settings here. For example, if you go to security and compliance, you can see some of the securities and compliance that you can put for that particular workspace. Okay. Again, coming back to configuration, once we enable the Unity catalog, you can see this permissions tab enabled and you can provide specific users, groups or service principal access to this particular workspace. Okay. So the access for each of the workspace can be controlled from this tab. Coming to the next tab, which is catalog. Now, this tab is used to create Metastores. Now, Metastore is the top level container for Unity catalog. In order to enable Unity catalog, we first have to create a Metastore and that we are going to create in our next video. This video is just for a run through. The next tab is the most important one. This is the user management. Now you can see our user created here and you can see it is account admin. Now, if you remember our last video where we discussed about roles, we discussed there was one role which is account admin. It means only account admins can have privileges of managing those users from the account console. Now you can find all of the users that you create in your Azure Entra ID and those will be listed here. From here, you can define different roles for that particular user. So if you want them to be account admin, you can enable or disable from here. Even marketplace admin can also be enabled and disabled from here. Okay. Now, other than users, there are two more tabs. The second one is service principal. Now, service principal are something which we call as robot accounts. Robot account means these are some of the principles which act as a user and can do the jobs on behalf of user. For example, if you want to run a job, it is never a good practice to use user accounts to run a job in production environment because a user might leave an organization after some time. So you configure something which is called service principal in order to run those jobs. Again, this you can do it from this tab. Next is groups. You can go ahead and create more groups from here. You can just go ahead and click on add groups and you can create groups in order to segregate different users. Now, let me give you an example. For example, in an organization, you can have HR one, you can have different normal employees, right? Now, HR has different privileges than the normal employees. HR can see your salary, can do some elevated task on you, right? But a normal person should not do those. And this is how you can create different groups in order to segregate and provide different privileges. Okay. And those can be done through this. So once we create a group, you can assign users or service principles to those groups and you can provide the roles and responsibilities to those group or you can grant privileges to those group so that all of the users and service principles of that group gets the roles or the responsibilities or the privileges by default okay this groups helps us to manage a bigger organization in a really lot easier okay it is very difficult to go ahead and put permissions for individual users rather create a group give the permission to that group and add the user to that group okay that is the sole motto of creating groups now Next three tabs are something which are not so much of importance, but we will just go ahead and look into it. So this tab is to add network connectivity configurations. So what is NCC? NCC are basically in order to securely connect to some of the services of your Azure, which cannot be directly connected with Databricks, requires secure configuration. You can use NCC in order to do that. We'll see that later in our course. Okay. Coming back to previews. Now, Databricks allows you to have a look and feel of some of the previews and you can enable or disable those previews from this tab. Last is the settings. Now, there are a lot of other settings that are present here. We are not going to look into all of them. The only one that we are going to look into is the feature enablement. So there are some of the features which are by default enabled or disabled for your account. For example, this is the serverless compute for workflow, notebooks and DLT. Now, this is a new feature that Databricks enabled in its latest release, right? And this is by default disabled. Now, if your workspace need to access serverless for its workflow, notebook or DLT, then you have to go ahead and enable it from the account console. Now, once you enable it, all of the workspace will have access to this particular serverless compute. Okay. Now we are going to enable it when we are going to look into serverless. For now, we'll keep it disabled. Okay. There are a lot of other features that are present here, which you can enable or disable for your workspaces from an account level. Okay. So this was the complete walkthrough for the account console. There are a lot of things that an account admin can do through an account console. An account console helps you to manage all your workspace at a single place. And that is the best part. Now consider an organization where they have more than 50, 60 workspaces. It becomes a way easier to manage all of them from a single place. And that is where this account console helps you. Now in our next video, we are quickly going to run through the workspace that we created. Till then, keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.